everyone and welcome to red united tv it's your boy ivorian spice back at it giving you the latest manchester united news and if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe smash that like button and also remember to share because sharing ivorian spice is caring boom and of course guys as you know today's episode of the latest Manchester United news gary neville believed that manchester united players cannot have a normal life cannot have a normal life gary neville tweeted out today that about manchester united players going out going to usc events going to italian restaurants going night clubbing taking a break of course because they're not been doing well which i understand so guys in this one i would share exactly what gary neville have said and give you my opinion of the whole situation, what I think about what Gary Neville tweeted on Twitter. As you can see there, guys, you can see Gary Neville tweeted earlier this morning, saying that I remember a time when United players, managers, executives wouldn't be seen in their local Italians after a draw at home, let alone getting knocked out of Europe. This last week, we've seen a global tour of Formula One, concerts, crickets, UFC events, this lot are tone deaf. Yes, I understand these lot are tone deaf. They are tone deaf. Yes, they are tone deaf. But how are you going to have that in that kind of situation? I'm not having it because what you're saying, Gary Neville, is I understand that Manchester United players have not been performing well. They haven't been doing the job. And you're probably saying, how dare they enjoy their life? How dare they go out there like they're not normal human beings after a hard day of work, that they're not allowed to relax, you know, de-clog themselves, you know, get themselves out of that loophole, that stigma of not playing well for Manchester United. How dare they do that? Well, guess what, Gary Neville? Players are allowed to have their own goddamn life, which I disagree. You can't just be blasting players because you're upset. Where was you when we needed you five years ago? You know, it's now you want to talk. Gary Neville, I respect him as a man, but some of his opinions are a bit crazy. You know, I can't respect the man that blasts people for having a normal life. Yeah, you think about it yourself, guys. Hold on a second. Gary, I understand that. But you're blasting man for just going to UFC concerts and etc. I remember a certain time when certain players thought it was okay to sleep with people's wives. Yeah. Going for a piss after a football match. You know, whether you win or lose. That was Match United. David Beckham. You know, not concerned about the, what's on the pitch, but his social life, his social media life, his present, being a celebrity footballer. Yes, they won trophies. Yes, they can back up their chat. But listen, players are allowed to live their life. They're allowed to have a normal life outside of football. They're only human beings. They need to, you know, de-stress themselves. Playing for Manchester United has been stressful, guys. It really has. So for Gary Neville to say that, it is not right to me. I honestly think that it is not right for Gary Neville to say such thing. He also said, during this as well, he also said, later on in his Twitter, I said, I expect them to adapt to circumstances and go on holiday, but quietly. Sam Mayer said that these players are human beings. Do you expect them to stay in their houses in isolation? Expect better from someone who was a player all, these, all those years. Daniel Charles also caught tweet and said that kind of kind of find this a bit deranged that players are not allowed to live their lives outside of work. Not a great message to be sending. Gary replies saying that no, they are. They can go on holiday, relax, take time. However, if you're being knocked out the Champions League, FA Cup, League Club, and blundering in the league, I wouldn't think it too much to ask. To lie, to, to lie low a bit. To lay low a bit. Gary Neville, you're a pundit. Yep, I get typo mistakes. Typo mistakes happen. You're in your feelings. You're in your feelings right there. I can tell you're in your feelings. But yes, guys, I want to know exactly what you think of this situation right there. Do you think Gary Neville has the rights to be saying these players should be saying X, Y, and Z, they shouldn't be doing this and this? Because I believe people are allowed to live their life outside of football, you know? Yes, Manchester United not doing well. But I want to know what you guys think of Gary Neville's tweet. Was Gary Neville right to tweet that or was he be a bit harsh? Or am I being a bit harsh? I'd like to know, that, guys, in the comments. 
So remember, next time as well, as always, remember, guys, to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share as we got more news to come. And also remember, if you want to contribute to the channel to improve the quality content of the channel, link in the description via PayPal, and also links in the description for everything you need, your eyewear, your, your clothing, your Christian clothing, catering, West African, I got that. But till next time, guys. See you next time. Sayonara. Your boy Ivory Spice is out. Peace.